Hi, I am Jill in the AFE Training Center, and today we are doing a lifting threads case on our patient. If you want to come in and take a look, I can show you some of the areas that she's mainly concerned with. Um, we have done lifting threads on her in the past, so this is just we're sort of repeating that procedure because she really wants to get more of a lift. Um, so we're sort of focusing on the laxity that we see her in the lower face. Her nasolabial folds are also an area of concern for her. And so the beauty of lifting threads is being able to get that immediate lift um, because those threads are barbed. So you're gonna be able to lift that tissue instantly. But over time, as the threads dissolve, it's going to stimulate neocollagenesis, which is the production of new collagen and elastin, which can help to tighten the skin and rejuvenate the tissue as well. Um, so those are a little bit of the areas that we're going to focus on. I'm going to mark her so that you can see, um, you know, sort of the process of me marking her. Um, smile for me, relax. So if you see here, just as I gently pull back, we get a nice lift from that nasolabial fold vector. Um, the next area that we're gonna refer to is this marionette line. So you can see as I pinch and exaggerate that deficit, we're really gonna try and lift this back to take some of the tension off of the tissue there. Um, and then the gel, which is like this little pinch area here. Um, it's really important that you're properly trained. There's a lot of uh, landmarks that we need to be mindful of here. And so having that background is incredibly important to not only deliver the best results, but keep your patients safe and minimize the risk of complications as well. So we're gonna do a little bit on her neck too, which is what we teach in our PDO level two courses. Um, she has a little bit of laxity in the neck that we're going to try and improve as well. You can see I'm just sort of spacing these out, almost like a little bit of a fan. So that way, once all the threads are in, we can pull her back like this. Okay, so that's how we've marked the one side of the face. We'll do the other side of the face similarly, but keeping in mind that, you know, the sides of our faces are sisters, not twins. So she might have a slightly different treatment plan on the opposite side of her face, just depending on um, her anatomy and the deficits that we see there. All right, so I have just used um, lidocaine to numb our entry point. So that way when I go in with our introducer needle, she doesn't really feel much of anything. Um, she might feel a little bit of pressure, but I'm now going to use my 18 gauge needle to create our entry points for our vectors. So you can see I have my three vectors outlined here. Um, and so I just want to go in and sort of create that path, make sure that I'm in the right plane. And then we'll come back with our top, uh, with our anesthesia and give her local anesthesia in the vectors so that way she's numb for the procedure. So we wanna make sure here we're in the right depth. Um, I like to think of this as like almost like paving the path of where our thread is going to go. So we wanna make sure it's right from the start. Now I'm going to use my cannula um, to numb my individual vectors. So I'm going back in that same entry point. This is a blunt tip cannula, so that's why we have to first go in with the pilot needle. Okay, might feel a little bit of burn. Here's some lidocaine. So we're just administering a little bit of lidocaine in these vectors, that way when we come back with our threads, she doesn't feel too much. Burn. All right, now we're gonna come back through those same exact vectors and place our threads directly in there. Okay. 
Is that okay? Mm hmm So you can see here we're already at our distal end. And then we're going to put pressure on that thread, engaging those barbs as we remove. And the first thread is in. Move down to our marionette vector. And we like to think of this as like curtain over curtain rod as we're placing these. And you can see that I'm pretty frequently, I'm checking the depth of my cannula just to make sure it's in the right plane for safety purposes and also to deliver the best results as well. Um, if I were to identify that I was in the wrong plane, um, generally we can correct it before it's much of a much of an issue. You could always abort the thread if you needed to, if, if for some reason you didn't like where it was at. You can see I'm really exaggerating the lift as I exit. Here I have marked her facial artery. We obviously want to avoid that. Um, and I just like to check again that the placement hasn't moved at all now that she's laying flat and turning her face to the side. Um, When you're in that proper plane, this just pretty much glides pretty easily. Occasionally you can meet resistance um, once you approach some of the ligaments in the face, but generally speaking, if you're in the right plane, it's gonna go pretty smooth. So we're gonna move along to the jawline thread and then I'm gonna sit her up um, and take a look and make sure that I'm happy with the lift that we've achieved. Little pressure. She's an amazing patient. <laughs> I don't think she's moved once. Are you comfortable? Yep. Okay. No pain at all. Okay, so we've done our four vectors so far. Mary, um, nasolabial fold, marionette, jowl, and then jawline. And now I'm gonna sit her up and see, see how we did. All right, so we did our four vectors. We sat the patient up and evaluated and she does have a beautiful improvement. However, one of her main areas of concern was her nasolabial fold. Um, and with that, we just wanna give her a little extra pull. So we're gonna place a fourth thread down to the nasolabial fold just for a little extra reinforcement, given that that was one of her sort of most bothersome areas. We already have the access point. We can just drop another thread in through there. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Oh, sorry, I didn't see that. So that's just gonna give her a little extra support there. Um, and then we're gonna move down to her neck. Okay, ready? All right, you'll feel a little pinch and a burn here. This is our entry point. We're sort of just numbing this area so we can come through with our pilot needle and then get her numb. So my technique in the neck tends to be a little bit different. Just this tissue is a little harder to sort of grab. So you'll notice I pull, pull the skin back 
as I advance my pilot needle forward. Um, oftentimes it's just really hard to grab this tissue in the neck. And I just want to put a little bit of lidocaine here, just enough so she's comfortable, but not too much. If you put too much lidocaine into the tissue, you're not going to be able to pull it back. There's just, because of the fluid in the tissue, um, it's not going to be able to, the barbs won't be able to grab. So I'm literally just putting a couple drops in each of these vectors just so she's comfortable. But nothing that's going to affect our lift. Okay, so that's the neck. So now between upper face and neck, we have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine threads per side. Turn your face this way for me. I'm just gonna clip the threads. It's really important that when you're clipping these threads, you clip them a little bit short. The reason is, is that way they won't, the ends aren't going to poke out once we clip them. So you can see I'm lifting the thread straight up and then I'm clipping um, putting some pressure down on the thread so that way when we clip it, we don't see the end of the thread hanging out. All right, now we're going to just swipe off our vectors. And also we want to make sure all of the barbs have engaged. So um, you, these, these, barb, these threads are bi-directional, meaning those barbs are going in both directions. So in order to fully engage them, we need to be putting pressure on the thread going in both ways. So I just sort of go over it with my thumbs and you can feel those barbs catching. She can probably feel them too. Mm -hmm. Um, and this is just working out any of the dimples that we can sometimes see with the threads and just making sure that we're getting that ultimate lift. Put some band-aids on her and then she's good to go, at least for this side. Okay, and we'll move on to the other side. All right, we have just completed Lindsay's case. Um, we ended up doing nine threads per side, so that includes face and neck. Um, we did four to the neck on both sides, and then the rest were in the face. And you can see we have a much, much, much softer nasolabial fold. We've lifted this tissue here before, which before was a little bit cr more crinklier or crinkly, and then just a really nice jawline. So really happy with these results. Mm -hmm.